let's get rolling with our first article, which is about AlphaFold. It's actually the name of an algorithm made by DeepMind, which is a Google or Alphabet subsidiary. Oh, dude, DeepMind is, uh, shoot, like I think like two years ago, they came up with an AI that beat the world's best Go player, which is like this Chinese game. Yeah, so that algorithm was called AlphaGo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's about protein folding, and it's called AlphaFold. There's like an hour, so, hour and a half um, documentary on YouTube. It's free, and it's such a big. It was such a big problem in computation to come up with something that could actually play Go, and they did it. It was like so monumental. I'll never forget it. So, needless to say, DeepMind. There are a bunch of OGs there that are solving <laughs> huge computation problems. I just want to shout out John O'Brien first. Thank you for suggesting this topic. Um, we're excited to get rolling on it. So basically, um, what AlphaFold does is it determines pro- well, how proteins fold. And why this is important, proteins make up basically a lot of the things in the world around us. It's not just like the white powder that you scoop into your shake um, or the thing that chicken breasts have 54 grams of. Proteins make up a lot of the world around us. Like protein is in the dna which defines like who we are genetically it's also an rna which makes viruses like covid19 that have suddenly become of serious importance to us so proteins make up all those things i I really appreciate the protein rundown by the way as someone that only took one bio class in high school and got a b minus that was very nice very well put yeah man good job getting getting some basics down yeah great explain like i'm five content right here i appreciate it awesome so the difference, or the main difference between the protein that makes up COVID-19, like the virus that could get you sick, and like the stuff that there's 54 grams of in a chicken breast, one of the main differences between that is just the shape of the protein. Right. So most proteins um, have the same amino acids in them. There's actually only 20 different amino acids, which are the building blocks oh, of proteins. Cool. And the only thing that's different from one protein to the other is the shape of it. And the shape determines the function, the shape, the size, and all these different things. Um And the way that shape is determined is just the order of which those 20 different amino acids are sequenced in, in like the sequence of that protein. So there's this competition called CASP, which has basically been trying to bring people's focus on decoding how the sequence of amino acids in this list determines the shape. And again, the overall function and the characteristics of this protein. Nice. So, so they've had a competition. It's based on a Nobel Prize winner from 50 years ago, and they've been running the competition for about 25 years. Gotcha. So how does the competition work? Like what? Basically, they have scientists determine the shape of a protein. So they already know the shape, and they also determine the sequence, the order of these amino acids. And they give teams the list of amino acids and the order that they are in the protein, and they basically ask these teams to predict the shape. And then they compare the geometry of the shape that the contestants came up with and then the geometry of the actual protein that they've already determined. So between those two, they compare them and then they do a percent accuracy between the geometry generated by the teams and then the actual real one. So they they get the final answer like they've been doing traditionally and just ask the contestants to walk backwards with their algorithms based on the amino acid information, right? Yeah. Nice. So no one had ever broken 60% accuracy until 2018. The first people to break that 60% barrier were DeepMind, none other than the folks that made AlphaFold. Checks out. They hit 75% in 2018. They were like, we know we can still do better. So they went back to the drawing board, actually rebuilt the whole thing from the ground up based on a new mechanism, and now they broke through in 2020 90% accuracy, which you can basically say is like they've almost solved protein folding, which is insane. So they they have the solution now, right? Like, are, are they using it for anything? Yeah, so in the competition in 2020, one of the most notable things they did was they actually were able to predict the shape of a COVID-19 protein. So um, very relevant to all of us today living Extremely. in this pandemic. They also, now since then, after, outside of the competition setting, have been using AlphaFold to study other parts of COVID-19, understand how the sequence of the proteins in COVID-19 Um, determines the way that it manifests in the body, creates symptoms, and how we can treat it with drugs, which is super interesting. Um, There's also, like, a pretty cool story. Well, I don't know. It wouldn't be cool for me if I was the researcher at the Max Planck Institute. He's been trying to determine the shape of this protein for decades and decades. And he got his hands on the AlphaFold algorithm, and it solved it in 30 seconds. Or, sorry, 30 minutes. So half an hour. 30 seconds. 
<laughs> not 30 seconds, 30 <laughs> minutes. They had solved this problem that he'd been working on for decades in half an hour. Okay. So I'd be relieved, right? They solved this problem. But also, I don't know. I mean, 10 Two years. Of yeah, work, yeah, yeah. yeah, or a decade of work poured into things. So like the, the main takeaway is that with us now understanding protein folding via alpha fold, understanding diseases and making new drugs is like faster than ever, right? Yeah. That is so cool. That is so yeah. cool. Basically, uh, you know, once we've fully cracked this code, which AlphaFold seems to be well on their way to doing, um, you can work forward or backwards. So take the sequence and understand what the protein will look like or take the protein and break it down into the sequence and learn how to make drugs to treat it and all sorts of cool things. So, I'm looking forward to all the different al- applications of AlphaFold, whether it's creating new drugs or making sure something like COVID doesn't happen at this scale anymore if we understand it quicker. 